Tonight, only on 11 Alive, an investigation reveals that after Clayton County prosecutors missed a crucial deadline, a man charged with kidnapping his ex-girlfriend got out on bond and, according to police, months later, killed her. Now, 11 Alive's Zach Merchant has uncovered some documents showing Fulton County prosecutors are missing the same deadline. 12-1-12-56. June 2021. Come out, your hands up. Atlanta police are on the move. Right, going up. The target, a southeast Atlanta home. Officers cleared the house and arrested a 40-year-old man who ultimately faced cocaine trafficking and other charges. It wasn't his first cocaine trafficking arrest, and on June 23, 2021, a Fulton County Superior Court judge denied him bond finding that the defendant was a risk of reoffending. But five months later, a judge reversed course and granted bond. Why the change? For defendants held in custody. Current state law requires judges to grant them bond if prosecutors do not obtain an indictment within 90 days. Former Gwinnett County District Attorney Danny Porter confirms. So there's really a 90-day sort of Stop one. You're on the clock. You're on the clock. But in that summer 2021 case, Fulton County prosecutors missed the deadline. In the order granting bond, the judge wrote, defendant has been in custody 156 days without indictment. Over the phone, Fulton County District Attorney's Office spokesman Jeff DeSantis said prosecutors were waiting for crime lab results to come back before seeking an indictment. But court records show this was not an isolated incident. The first thing that I looked at was, how are these cases slipping through the cracks? In Fulton County records, 11 Alive uncovered close to 20 cases where defendants had their bonds initially denied, but later granted after 90 days passed without an indictment. I think there's a systemic problem, and the systemic problem is, is that they're not flagging these cases and putting them as a priority. In many of the initial bond denials, for cases ranging from drug trafficking to armed robbery and aggravated assault, judges wrote they worried defendants were flight risks or dangers to the community. In their orders later granting bond, they often cited just how long defendants had been waiting. This one reads, defendant has been in custody for 91 days without indictment. Another, 110 days. The worst possible outcome and the worst possible scenario is one of these people who's been found to be a danger to the community or has a likelihood to reoffend is going to go out and commit some heinous, horrible crime. That's hard, that's hard. In Clayton County, Bridget Jones already knows that. Put your hands out the window! In July, her daughter, Kalia Jones, was shot and killed in front of Lovejoy High School, where she'd just graduated a year before. Police say the man who pulled the trigger was her 20-year-old ex-boyfriend, who had been arrested a year earlier for allegedly kidnapping her at gunpoint. His bond was initially denied, but after Clayton County prosecutors failed to indict within 90 days, a judge was forced to grant him bond. Months later, police say he abducted her again. A guy just came in here for one of my employees. He came in here with a gun. Led police on a high-speed chase. And killed her. We lost a great human. That was going to help a lot of people. To be clear, the cases we uncovered in Fulton County make up only a fraction of those that move through the system each year. And even when bond is granted, the suspect still needs to be able to pay. Most of the time, they don't have the money or meet the required conditions. In all of the cases we examined, only one was actually able to get out of jail. But the failure to indict still carries a cost. Even though you have a few cases, you know, any one of those could be a bomb that goes off. To Bridget Jones, it's now time for leaders to take accountability and make changes before what happened in Clayton County to Kalia happens again in Fulton County. When something violent happens to somebody, make the prosecutors, the judges, whoever tell us, why couldn't he be indicted? 
The Fulton County District Attorney's Office did not respond to multiple invitations to join us for an interview. In a phone call, a spokesman said prosecutors face a backlog of cases, partially a result of the pandemic, that can slow down a specific case's progress through the system. And after our first investigation this past summer uncovered what went wrong in Kalia's case, the Clayton County District Attorney did admit what happened was a mistake, and she said her office has now changed its policies to try and prevent that from happening ever again. And tonight, the man accused of killing Kalia has not yet been arraigned, but intends to enter an initial plea of not guilty. That's according to his attorney.